once again, time for another little driving vlog here in the channel. So for those who are new to the channel, this is my 2018 Mustang GT performance pack. Now, today's video is definitely something directly Mustang related that I wanted to do for a while. And that is, I want to talk about three reasons people hate Mustangs, but also reasons why you shouldn't actually hate a Mustang. Because obviously, it's a pretty great car in my opinion. I own one. I guess I'm a little biased on that regard. But I guess without further ado, we'll just go ahead and get right into it. Reason number one, I'm pretty sure people hate Mustangs, is if you simply look around, they're everywhere. They're just very common vehicles. You know, I got one, and who am I? Just another YouTuber. And you know, you go to any car meet, there's like 10 of them. Every single car meet. So yes, every time you go out to a car meet, you're gonna see yet another Mustang. And you know, when I go to car meets, when I roll up, they most commonly will tell me, hey, you know where the Mustangs park, right? You know, no, no hesitation of you know what's been done to it or anything. It's just that I have to immediately go park, usually towards the back, not always. But because of that, yeah, you know, some people don't like that. Some people don't like when they roll up onto a car meet and they're one of like 20 people with the same car. It's like showing up to a wedding party and everybody has the same thing on. So, yeah, that's why a lot of people don't like that. They want to be exclusive. Well, that's because the Mustang sells so damn well. As most people know, the Mustang is a massive seller for Ford. In fact, it's been a huge sales success since it came out in 1964. They've been selling these things in large numbers for decades now, so that's one reason they're just so common. And on top of that, I find that the Mustang community, it's a very friendly group of people. You know, I'm always talking to someone else who owns a Mustang, and we're talking about mods we've done or mods we want to do. So that's a very... That's actually a good thing, in my opinion, with the Mustang community, is that there is so, such a large community. Yes, you're not going to be exclusive. Yes, you're not going to stand out among everybody. There might be that Mustang owner who's so annoying at the show, everyone talks about him behind his back. But that leads me up to point number two. Kind of reason number two a lot of people dislike Mustangs. And that's, plain and simple, the owners. Some Mustang owners are just annoying. And unfortunately, there's no way to sugarcoat it. They're just that bad. They're just like, you know, who put you on the planet? You know, the guy that's just revving uselessly at a car show. There's the guy that just, who's got such annoying stuff done to his car. And you're like, why would you put that on your car? Everybody knows what we're talking about. The guy that's just got the ugliest possible car. And he's trying to stand out. Unfortunately, that they exist. So you can't do much about them either. But some of the owners are just annoying. In fact, I was actually talking with a friend of mine the other day, Cars and Coffee, you know, another Mustang owner. And he says, I, you know, I'm not to the point I hate Mustangs. I'm like, why? You own a Mustang. He has a 2016 Mustang. And he says, you know, I've owned the car long enough to realize some of the owners are annoying. And now his philosophy is you, you have to really own a car to truly know you don't like it. So, I mean, that's true. He doesn't like the owners. It's not the car itself. He says he loves the car. He just is tired of some of the owners in the Mustang community. And yeah, they're, they get annoying after a while. You know, one more of them just revs their motor at me for no reason. So I'm looking at you EcoBoost owners, especially. Not Nothing personal against you all, but stop trying to rev at me and stop trying to race me all the time. I'm telling you. Sometimes it just gets annoying. Everyone. 
And there was one a while ago I saw at a car meet, and it was a guy with a V6 that he had tuned to basically have a ghost cam like a V8. much bad about the guy because he was a nice guy but then on top of that kind of going back to the owner's philosophy he was actually faking having a manual mustang by like tapping the brakes as he drove in as if he was hitting the clutch or shifting gears so it's kind of annoying like dude you're giving us a bad name right now you know you, you do that you make us look bad because everyone's going to talk about him now a lot of people were talking about bad about him like i said nice guy so i don't want to be like ah oh, he's a complete moron or anything but it was kind of like, dude, please. That's kind of the thing we don't want to deal with in this community. But you know, the V6 owners, some of y'all do the straight pipes, all this other stuff. And, and please, for the love of God, if you have an eco boost, don't try to race me. Because you're gonna you're gonna lose and you're gonna you're gonna get mad at me for it. I had one, like he actually legitimately got road raged at me when he was gonna go out try to pass me, and he was gonna, you know, he did the whole kind of downshift. I just completely floored it, and it was a sad day for him. I, he got his ass handed to him by my stock V8. Stock, well, at least power-wise, people always like to argue with me that, well, you're not stock, you have an exhaust done, and it's an X-pipe. It's not like I've got a massive amount of stuff done. Obviously, my car doesn't really stand out as much right now because it is stock, unlike a lot of the Mustangs out there. But, oh well, this is just going to be a little short vlog here about why people don't like Mustangs. Like I said, I personally really like them. The community is great. There's 18 million different mods you can do to these cars. They're customizable beyond belief. So if you really don't like the looks of them or anything, you can make it your own. That's a good reason I love it. And, you know, even despite some of the annoying owners, there's a lot of... There, for every annoying owner, there's at least three good owners of the car. I'm always talking with people I enjoy. I've met a lot of friends in the Mustang community since I've gotten this car. And I don't plan to get rid of this car anytime soon. I plan to continue making YouTube videos with this car. And I know that actually goes back to point number one. There's been, you know, 18 million different YouTube channels that have popped up all making Mustang content, so I know I, even that's hard to do now, just because I'm one of a million people doing all of this. But, I still love it. Community's great. I, this is definitely not going to be the last Mustang I own. I'm absolutely in love with this car. Just can't get over the sound of it. That's for all of you at home watching. Definitely love the sound of these cars. 2018 is coming up to an end. I got, still got some more videos I want to do in 2018. So definitely let me know in the comment section below what you think about all of this. What are, what are your all's thoughts on Mustangs? Do you all like them or hate them? Let me know. Because I know a lot of people subscribe to my channel, obviously. Like them because you wouldn't subscribe to a Mustang channel if you hated them. But... Let me know what your thoughts are about the points in this video. Do you have any other reasons you, you agree with or disagree with? Add your own reasons why you dislike the Mustang community as a whole. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more Mustang content with this 2018 Mustang. Anyway, take care. Have a good day.